New York becomes the largest city to make you pay a fee for bags, plastic or paper. Just a short time ago, in a close vote, the city council approved a bill that will allow stores to charge at least a nickel a bag. CBS 2 Sonia McCone has more now from City Hall. No, plastic bags don't grow on trees, but they do seem to be everywhere. And supporters of the Bring Your Own Bag bill say they're not really free. Every year, the city spends an estimated $12.5 million to transport 91,000 tons of shopping bags to landfills. That's over 7,000 truck trips full of trash. Starting this fall, stores would have to charge you a minimum of five cents per plastic or paper bag. The stores get to keep the money and can even charge you more if they want to. Grocery shoppers we spoke with have mixed feelings about this and whether it'll be effective. The amount of time that you buy stuff and every time you have to pay five cents, that's going to be a lot of money. Money by the end of the year. I would say charge more than five cents. Really? Charge 25 cents. Environmentally, it's the right thing to do. We see plastic flying all around. We don't get as much recycling as we would like to. And there was plenty of opposition in the council. It's going to hurt the poor. It's going to hurt senior citizens. It's going to hurt people who do not have cars. And these are flimsy bags to begin with. When you go shopping, you have to double bag everything. Supporters of the bag fee here at City Hall say it's meant to irritate you so they can understand the opposition. Even the council. Speaker herself admits she'll have to change her habits and remember to bring her own bags. Right now, I don't, and I will have a motivation to to use the reusable bags. There are exemptions. You'd still get free plastic bags with your restaurant takeout or delivery, produce, liquor, and prescriptions. If the bill has the desired result, grocery stores will save and earn extra money. The city's asking them to give back by doing free giveaways of reusable bags. And if they don't comply with charging you the five cents, they'd get hit with $250 fines. The first time, $500 after that. At City Hall, Sonia Rincon, CBS 2 News. The mayor says that he will sign it and the law would take effect in October, but enforcement wouldn't begin until next April.